Cora, after all these Connacht finals, what does it mean to win that one? Yeah, I suppose it's uh, sweet. Um, it's four years since 2011 since we won one. They call we were going for five in a row, so I suppose it's sweet. Um, probably sweeter for the younger girls in the team that maybe haven't experienced winning one before. Um, us older girls have won one yet. You know, it's, we're delighted we won it, but um, it's a stepping stone to the next. You know, the next step. Um, you know, it was very tough out there. Go, gave us a great game, and we're lucky to get over the line. People talk about your ability to score, but you have incredible drive as well. And I noticed that in the rest of the team today. I mean, they like some Martha Carter. Your manager was telling me that she played on with a broken hand. Yeah, they think Martha's done the damage all right to her hand. Yeah, we, there is an incredible drive. I suppose the older girls um, are here are here quite a long time, and we try and drive the younger girls on. But the younger girls drive us on, you know, especially in training when you, when you might be lagging behind and stuff. Um, yeah, but we, you know, we, we want to get back to being having Mayo ladies on top. They haven't been on top for a while, and I suppose this. This is the start for Sam. Connacht title is, is, is huge to this team, and as I said, especially to the younger girls that might never experience winning one before, and even at underage haven't experienced winning one. What can you say when it's all been said before about Cora Staunton and her performance today after so many Connacht finals? Cora, is, I, I don't think Jerome will ever see her likes again. I think she's a unique a footballer, but she's also a unique individual, you know, and the time and the effort. And for any young player out there, what does she do though she practices every day she trains every day that's why what's the secret to her success it's hard work yeah she has natural God given talent but how many people sit on bar stools with natural God given talent she works at it every single day and you know I'm just so happy for herself and for Yvonne and the older players but then you know people talk about character character always wins Marta Carter broke her hand after 10 minutes but real character no way was she giving up she was standing and fighting no matter what and when you have that character you've always a fighting chance Sarah, as someone who has come to a Connacht senior final for the very first time, could you explain to me what the passion was about, especially at the final whistle? What did it mean to win that? Oh, to be honest, it meant a huge amount to us, um, the players and management and everything. We've been working extremely hard, not just this year, but this team has been in the making since last year. And like last year in the Connacht final, I felt like we were um, probably the better team, but just experience wasn't there. And I think through our league campaign, we had a lot of tight encounters and that really stood to us. And today was just so special here in McHale Park as well in our home ground. And it's nice to get away with the win. So you had to stop the Galway run. Yeah, exactly. Oh, they're a fantastic team. Like they'll be there and thereabouts again this year, I have no doubt. Um, they're a brilliant bunch of players. I know a lot of the girls as well, and they're really nice. And I just wish them well in the year ahead. You came back in at the start of this year to give it another year. You put in a great effort in the league, and then such disappointment. But today, you at least have got silverware. Yeah, exactly. Um, when we came back in January, it was always this day, 4th of July. Uh, it was all about this day. It was always about Galway. Yeah, we were lucky. We got a nice run in the league and, you know, got to the league final and, ha- and got a couple extra games against Kerry and Galway in the semi-final and final. Yeah, disappointed to win the league final, but, you know, we, we put that into the back of our minds the next day and we've, we've been focusing on Galway since. And we've been focusing on Galway since January. So, yeah, this is, this is a huge thing for this team. But, um, you know, we'll enjoy tonight, but we'll move on again on Tuesday night. And a special atmosphere and a big crowd, which was great to see. Yeah, a great crowd, great crowd. Now, um, Jennifer Murphy um, has been on Twitter all week and Facebook and everything trying to get the crowd out. And it's really nice to see uh, for both sets of teams. It really adds to the occasion, especially for players. You know, it's nice to get the recognition. Yeah, definitely. Um, I suppose, you know, a lot of people here today are from, you know, our families and f- close friends and obviously from um, football clubs within Mayo. I've seen a, a good number of them there. Yeah, so it's great to have that support. Um, they really drive you on. You know, anytime we've got a score today or even one a, a turnover, you, you'd know even if you weren't looking at the game um, that it was a Mayo score or a Mayo turnover from the crowd. So, yeah, they definitely lift you on. And it's great to see so many young girls here and hopefully, um, you know, Mayo football will be on the up for, for, for all levels. Um, it's great to see teams here like the Westport um, there's a number of teams so yeah definitely we hope that this, this will give a boost to the county